Hey, what's up guys? It says I have a poor connection over 4G LTE, so I honestly don't even know if this is gonna work. Um, but we're gonna try anyways, even though the audio is probably gonna suck. Hey, what's up, C Greatness? Sup, Damon? Sup, Anonymous Maximus? Whoa, everybody just pouring on in. Uh, heads up, audio and video quality is gonna suck. I'm on 4G LTE with AT&T, which is about the worst network there is for 4G. If you guys could let me know if you can even hear me, that'd be great. Audio, audio is good enough for this stream. So, I am driving home from Greg's house. We just spent, uh, well, we spent half a day coding. Uh, playing around for an episode of Code Gasm that's coming up. Uh, we didn't shoot any video today though. We were just kind of messing around with a new technology called Unity. Well, the technology Unity technology has been around forever, but we, we just started playing around with it. And uh, it's really cool. You guys are gonna love it. We're gonna do a Code Gasm episode on how to create a simple game in Unity, and that's coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but he also helped me work on my car because my car decided it wanted to shred the power steering belt. <laughs> So, and I'm driving 168 miles tomorrow to Longview, Washington to attend Cowlitz Gamers for Kids Expo. And uh, I didn't want to drive my car down there with a shredded belt because I thought, I thought that'd probably be a bad idea. Sup, Balder? <laughs> Chat's going fast. You can hear me? That is fantastic. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here in Renton, Washington right now. Uh, yeah, it's only going to be 480, guys. It's the 4G sucks. Like, AT&T's 4G sucks. I literally need to get a new uh, a new cell provider. Even though it's going to cost me a bunch of money to get out of my contract with AT&T, I don't care. AT&T just sucks. Uh, but the audio should be okay. So, you know, hopefully a couple of you guys can stick around and hear what's going on. So, Anyways, uh, quick little update. I did get back recently from uh, Indiana. I was actually down in Goshen, Indiana, in the middle of nowhere, like Amish country. I'm talking like horse-drawn, black Amish buggies and people wearing very old clothing, uh, cruising around everywhere. And I got to hang out with Steve and his family, the owners of See Me CNC, which is an amazing shop, by the way. Like, like their 3D printers are awesome, but their shop that they make them in, wow such cool stuff they also they're the makers of that part daddy you know that 18 foot tall 3d printer that everybody's goo goo gaga over um so i got to spend some time down there i flew back the the travel was rough on me uh because i had some layovers in detroit and in michigan and the constant flying and being around a bunch of other people and everything gave me a little bit of a sinus infection that i'm fighting right now so i'm having to take meclizine to keep the vertigos at bay so that i can drive safely and do things safely um, but I ain't gonna let that stop me or slow me down. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a video edited and uploaded tomorrow before I leave for Longview, Washington, which is a three and a half hour drive. I'm totally not looking forward to. Um, oh, somebody asked if I used the neti pot. Yeah, no, I've, I've used the neti pot uh, several times before. It does, it does help a little bit, but uh, I need to stop at the store and get some more distilled water because you don't want to use... You don't want to use water out of the faucet for your neti pot unless you happen to live on like an artesian well or something like that but uh but yeah things things have been going pretty good lately uh my son just turned seven yesterday xander i cannot believe how old he is um and he's learning awesome kid skills like how to back talk and how to be manipulative which you think are bad things but they're not actually they're great signs that he's overcoming the autism spectrum that he was put in and he's really starting to get into his peer group and I couldn't be more proud of him like it's it's funny the other day he kept trying to manipulate me into playing Forza on the Xbox and he was saying stuff like but dad it's my birthday you got to do what I said because it's my birthday and it's my special day and I was like who gave you that idea and he, and he just kept giving me ex explanation after explanation as to why I needed to play Forza and it was cute it was really cute and a lot of people would be like oh my god the kid's being annoying but to me that's, that's music to my ears. That tells me that he is doing an amazing job. And, uh, and wait, this kid has autism too, aqua armor? God, well, thanks for calling me a kid. Wow, 37 years old, people still call me kid. I like it. I like it a lot. So, uh, so yeah, anyways, car's got new belts. We went ahead and replaced two of the belts on the car. Only one of them was really shredded, but we figured while we were in there, we'd replace the other belt. And uh, I broke the tensioner because I forgot to undo the lockdown nut before trying to tension the, uh, detention the, the belt, and I broke it. So we had to put it together with JB Weld, and then I, the JB Weld lasted precisely long enough 
for me to tighten it down. Once I once I tightened it and locked it into place, it cracked and fell off. So <laughs> it literally served its one purpose, and that was to allow me to tension the belt before failing. You know, just just failing in a in a just crazy spectacular way. Oh my gosh, that was funny. I saw somebody comment. They're like, "Take us to the bikini barista." No, no bikini baristas on my channel. I, I only do that over on my Twitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I was bored on the drive home. I like just giving you guys little updates and uh, and pissing off all the trolls that think that it's dangerous to live stream when I'm driving, when in fact, it's actually keeping me awake and 10 times more alert. Um, but yeah, so that is what is going on in my life. That is my car. You guys wanna hear it? I love that flat four turbo, baby. Oh, it scared the Beamer. I scared the Beamer a little. Got a little, got a little intimidated. <laughs> Floor it. Uh, I might do nerd block unboxings again here pretty soon. I'm not, I don't, I'm not opposed to it. I actually like the nerd blocks a lot. I like the one up boxes, uh, the arcade block. Arcade block's probably my favorite. Um, I actually stopped unboxing them under orders from Miss Barnacles because Xander's room was getting completely filled with nerd block toys and she wasn't having it. Ooh, that's a big semi. I'm not going to mess with them. Yay, my car steers again. Having belts is awesome, guys. There's nothing better on your car than having functional belts that keep the power steering working. Wait, it's after seven. I think I can get in the HOV lane now. Oh, I love this car. I just hope I don't hit traffic tomorrow heading down to Longview because that's a three plus hour drive. Luckily, I'm gonna be staying with my buddy, John Riggs. Uh, if you guys don't know him on Twitter, he's John Blue Riggs. He's actually a radio DJ from Yakima. And uh, so I'm hanging out with him, and then I'm gonna be hanging out with Metal Jesus Rocks, AKA Jason, um, all in this Cowlitz Gamers for Kids thing. It's basically gonna be like a big game, people selling stuff, people playing video games. I'm just going because they wanted me there to, you know, hang out with fans, sign autographs, hang out behind a table. So I'll probably be live streaming. It'll be fun. As I was like, F power steering. Uh, I like power steering on all wheel drive. Now, if you have a two-wheel drive old Beamer, like an E30 or something like that, then yeah, power steering's overrated. But trust me when I say on all-wheel drive, if you didn't have power steering, you would be screwed. You would be absolutely screwed. No, this car is starting to get a long, little long in the tooth, though. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to release the Parts Daddy review. I actually reviewed that 18-foot-tall printer at Midwest Rep Rap Festival. It was a lot of fun. I've seen it multiple times at maker fairs and stuff like that, but I've never actually reviewed it, like gone over it and showed close-ups of the components and stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to probably release tomorrow. Um, I got some stuff coming up with the with the CNC router that I got from Inventables, the Carvey. Uh, I don't want to tip you guys off to what I'm making on it, but it's going to be pretty fun. I've got tons of different materials and stuff. I'm going to create some stuff. Might even sell some of it. I don't know. It should be pretty cool. Wow, somebody's told me not to read and drive. Do you realize by typing that and making me read your caps lock statements, you put my life in danger? Jeez. Some people. The nerve of some people. You know what, guys? I have never been in an at-fault accident in my entire life. I'm a professionally trained rally driver. I've done plenty of time in autocross and on track. Well, track is my weakness. I haven't had a lot of time on track, but I've had enough on time on track to feel proficient and comfortable in this car. So I wouldn't worry about me too much. Do a flip. I'm not gonna do a flip. Hey Tech Talk, the te Tech Talk, thank you. I appreciate all the donations, guys. They all go to a good cause, which is keeping me and my family alive. Uh, which I think personally is the best cause there is on planet Earth, but I'm a little biased on that subject. Um, and I wish I could read each one of you guys out, but like I gotta pay attention to the road. I see a comment every now and again when there's nobody around me and I'm driving, but you know, like, like somebody said, they want to see me nude. That's, I mean, that's fantastic. I am glad that there are people that want to see me nude. That makes me happy. 
I don't jinx myself. Wouldn't that be funny, right, as I'm talking about never getting in an at-fault accident, I just careen off a cliff and you guys get to see it in real time? That would make the news, I bet. I just wanted to get home. Miss Barnacles messaged me and asked me if I wanted to have dinner with her, and I said, yeah. So now, now I'm rushing home from Greg's. We wanted to code through the night a little bit more, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna call it early because I got a long drive ahead of me tomorrow. I still gotta pack everything in the morning. Um, luckily, John is letting me crash with him down in, in uh, Longview because I couldn't imagine waking up at like 4 a.m., driving three and a half hours, setting up my booth before 10 a.m. Oh, God, it'd be it'd be an absolute freaking lutely nightmare. Oh, somebody's getting lucky tonight? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Okay, so I've seen a couple of people ask what car I'm driving. This is a 2005 Subaru WRX STI with a full Cobb Stage 2 tune on it from a Cobb Access port, the second version. And it's got no internal work done on the motor, but it does have a cold air intake. It has a uh, Go Fast Bits blow-off valve. It has solid motor mount, solid transmission mount, full underbody uh, aluminum plating for rallying off-road. Um, it's got custom suspension, also set up for rally. Uh, it's got a custom downpipe, a modified NVIDIA divorce wastegate downpipe. It's got a modified uppipe with a two and a half inch uh, circumference instead of, or sorry, two and a half inch diameter instead of a two inch diameter, like the factory to give it a little bit more flow. It's a full catless uh, Blitz Nurse Spec R exhaust all the way out the back. It's pretty free flowing. I haven't had it on a dyno yet, but I'd have to ask to me, crank horsepower is 350, 380 according to Cobb's tune. Um, so I'd have to estimate in the ballpark. I'm probably around 280, 290 at the wheels. Probably 320 torque, if I had to guess. Hey, thanks, Scott. <laughs> I actually got a donation for doing a poll. Well, maybe we'll do another one. Ready? Okay, that was just up to the speed limit. Good. Just, just keep an eye out. Be a village vigilant. It does have a short shifter. It's got a, it's got a, a card boy short shifter. And I do short shift uh, most of the time because I don't like bouncing it off the rev limiter. It's hard on the turbo. Don't forget the stickers. Yeah, man, the stickers will, will give you lots of power. Here, I'll pull the seven. There's fuel cut. It does pull strong though. I'm happy with it. 76,000 miles on it and it still still pulls like a beast. It's it's a torque monster. That's one thing I'll give the Subaru WRX, man. Is there's a lot of cars out there that got a lot of horsepower and not a lot of torque. This thing's the other way around. It's it's all torque. don't run into fuel cut like that but I figured I'd, I'd show you guys so that was about 7100 rpm with the cop tuning I can also uh, set the red line a little bit higher plus I have a lightweight flywheel but I've chosen not to because the power band actually starts falling off at about 6800 so there's really no reason to take it over 7000 it's better to just just shift and stay in that torque band But still running a fully stock turbo. It's a VF39 turbo, which was standard equipment on the 2005 Super WRX STI. The paint's basically falling off. The interior's like falling apart. Um, but I still love this car. And a lot of people ask me why I don't keep it like showroom condition and clean it and everything like that. And it's because I like to drive this car in the dirt. I like to get it muddy. I like to get it dinged up and banged up. And as soon as you start cleaning and, and treating a car like a garage queen, you cringe every time something bad happens to it. And I don't want that to happen. I, I want this car to always get love. But I'll 
I'll tell you what, I like the sound of my car better than Jay's, but Jay's car is louder than mine by a massive factor. Hey, thanks, John. Thanks, Tech Talk. Uh, yeah, no, there's, Jay, Jay's car is crazy loud. Oh my God, especially when you're in a tunnel. That thing's nuts. But his car is really clean. That's one thing I do like about Jay's car is even though, I mean, his is a track car. It's, it's, it's allowed to stay clean. My mine's a dirt car. It's supposed to be dirty, but I love the way his car looks. Everything he did to that, all the subtle little mods and things, and the suspension and the stance, it's good. It's it's definitely my favorite three seventy Z of all the three seventy Zs. The only thing I'd do is put a giant spoiler on the back of it, which Jay would tell you to go to hell. Um, but I I think that the spoiler on that car makes it just look amazing, like. It, I don't know. There's just something about a spoiler. A, a, a spoiler, not a silencer. What the hell am I talking about? Thanks, Alex. Oh, my gosh. But my voice still hasn't fully recovered from all the screaming I did at Midwest Rep Rap Festival. Thank you, Steven. But uh, hopefully tonight it will recover enough. And then tomorrow I'm not doing much. I'm just driving down to Longview. I'm not actually doing any, like, partying or anything like that. So hopefully I'll, it'll just be a nice restful time down there. Maybe even spend some time editing videos on my laptop. I've been doing a lot of stuff on my laptop lately. Um, it sucks that Puget Systems disconnect, uh, discontinued the laptops because of the couple pro problems that Clevo was having. Uh, it was no fault of their own. They made the right decision, but I love that laptop. The screen's got a couple little issues with it. There's a couple other minor issues, but for raw horsepower on the road, holy crap. I think it's awesome. Thank you for all the donations, guys. I appreciate it. I wish I could call each one of you out and read your donation comment, but if I did that, I'd probably get in a fiery accident and die. And hey, don't worry, I'm driving safe, guys. You might not think it's safe, but where I have the phone placed, I can easily glance over when there's no cars around me. It's 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 safe. I only drive safe, even off-road. Let's see here. So somebody wants to lick my cat, apparently. That, that's what that's what I took away from that. Where in the world are you? I'm in Redmond somewhere right now. Actually, I'm driving right by the Microsoft campus in Redmond, right by right by Building 26. My old alma alma mater. <laughs> oh, just passed a bunch of cops on the side of the road. I'm in Washington State, for those of you guys wondering. Uh, so I have no idea what's for dinner when I get home, but I hope it's something delicious. And I don't think I'm gonna pack tonight. I think I'm just gonna relax tonight, take it easy, and then tomorrow I'll wake up early and get editing on that video before I leave. Since I got a long drive ahead of me, I don't got anybody coming with me. It's just gonna be me for a three and a half hour drive. Um, I might live stream tomorrow too. If you guys like this YouTube live thing, let me know. I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll probably fire it up again for the trip down there, uh, provided the quality is okay. I mean, I imagine the 4G LTE is probably pretty garbage. But lots of stuff coming up on the channel, lots of maker stuff. I know a lot of my 3D printing, CNC project guys have been waiting a long time. You guys, content is coming. That's going to be fantastic. Codegasm is finally, there's plans. We're actually actively working on a Codegasm right now. So I know a lot of you wanted that coming back. Hey, thank you, KW. Uh, so, lots of cool stuff going on, guys. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down because I'm getting ready to head out into the countryside where the internet basically is the worst 4G ever, and I will spare you guys that painful experience. But, hope you guys enjoy the videos that have been coming out. I hope you enjoy the trip I went on. Make sure you check out that 3D printer giveaway that I'm doing right now with CBCNC, the Rostock V3. It's actually got auto leveling, so it's finally a Delta that isn't scary to use. And the auto leveling actually works amazing. It really does. It's accelerometer based. It's really clever. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. More videos on the way. Peace out, guys. Thanks again for all the donations. I really appreciate it, guys. Sorry I couldn't read the comments. But uh, next time I do a live stream stationary, I'll, I'll try to get more comments read. All right, take it easy, guys.